How's everybody this Tuesday night? Hopefully everyone having a good night. We have got a bunch of stuff to break tonight. Um, we've got a half case of mini helmets, which will be the start of a new case. We're going to do a half case of Rookie Retro, which is also the start of a new case. We'll do a little Origins football tonight by the full case and some National Treasures Collegiate tonight uh, by the full case as well. There is a little bit of information that I like to go over before we actually start ripping into things. So that's going to be coming at you here in a second as soon as I get on the right tab. Ah, so we can start off in the right spot would be helpful, wouldn't it? There we go. That's what we needed to see. All right. So um, the first thing is about feedback. And that's just because I get asked that question a lot. Uh, it comes up often like, hey, when do you leave feedback? Well, guys and gals, mine is automated, and I do that really so that you don't ever have to wait on me. Anytime that you leave positive feedback for me, you are going to instantly get positive feedback in return through the modern miracle of automation. Gotta love that. And of course, the second thing there is simply to say thank you. Always appreciate you being here, bidding, breaking, and chatting with me. And... I just realized I left the iPad sitting in the office, which means I can't see you chatting with me. So I guess I better get up and go get that. <laughs> While I'm doing that, I'll let you look at this for a minute. I left it charging. I will be right back. See, that's what happens, right? When I don't have things charged up, I go crazy and forget and leave them on the charger. So this is what we're breaking in the days ahead. Tomorrow night, of course, is a new release night. We are going to start early at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. We'll open both new releases tomorrow by the full case. So that's Five Star Baseball and Absolute Football, both uh, headed your way tomorrow night. Then on Thursday night, we're going to go back and break some Archives Baseball. It will be the start of a new case, and we'll do it as a half case break, which means it is uh, five boxes in that half case. On Friday night, we're going to finish up the Leaf Rookie Retro that we started tonight. We will finish on Friday night. And then we're going to do five-star baseball and certified football. Five-star will be a full case. Certified football will be a 12-box inner case and the back half of a master case. On Saturday, we will open a full 16-box master case of unparalleled football, and Sunday is an off night. Now, here's what you need to know about tonight. So we've got a pair of free shipping breaks and a pair of paid shipping breaks tonight. So the free shipping breaks, uh, here's what you need to know about them, which is uh, the Mini Helmet and Leaf Rookie Retro. Those will be on the way to you no later than Tuesday, a week from today, which, believe it or not, will already be September the 3rd. And anytime you do a free shipping break with me, it's always projected to go out no later than a week after the fact. Now, a lot of times it goes sooner, but it just means no later than that. Now, the other thing about free shipping breaks is consolation cards, okay? If your team, or in the case of Rookie Retro, your letter is not pulled in the break and you don't get anything at all, you are still entitled to a consolation card. Now, in the free shipping breaks, I typically hold on to those consolation cards until the next time you have a package shipping, in which case uh, I would just send them out all at once. If you have multiple items tonight, some paid, some unpaid, obviously if you're doing any consolation from the unpaid, it would go ahead and ship out with the rest of the stuff. Um, now, the difference with that in the paid shipping breaks, which is Origins and NT Collegiate, if you happen to get skunked in either of the paid shipping breaks, your consolation cards would, of course, go ahead and ship with the rest of the break because it's a paid shipping break. And speaking of Origins and NT, those should be on the way to you approximately Saturday. As always, if I can get something out sooner than the date you see, I will. But most often, the date that you see is, is probably going to be the date it goes out most of the time. One last piece of business, the order we are breaking in tonight. The mini helmets are first, Origins Football is second, Rookie Retro is third, and National Treasures Collegiate is fourth. We usually break them in the order that they ended on eBay. 
So our first up tonight is a five box half case of TriStar autographed mini football helmets. This, <clears throat> excuse me, is the start of a new case and it is break number five. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay, Tuesday night, the 27th of August. You'll see the team names there on the left hand side and the user ID of our winning bidders across from each team on the opposite side. New spreadsheet will go up before the start of every break, so if you're not in this mini helmet break, you're going to get a chance to see your name up there when we do get to your product. And you probably noticed your background went out of focus right then. That also was intentional. That's so we can look at things up a little bit closer. Now, the way that this is uh, the start of a new case, guys, means that I'm taking all of these out of the big case that they're in, all of these boxes. I'm going to number them on the end, and then we're going to use random.org to tell us which five we open tonight and which five of these we'll open in the next break of mini helmets. So it'll take me a minute here to walk through this but it is the way I prefer to do it just to keep everything you know nice and easy to follow and there's no question about how something is chosen to open you know one part versus another part and all that jazz so random.org keeps it all nice and and even for us actually I'll set those up there until I number them then we'll move them back down All right, let's start numbering some things here. I'll take you with me over to random, of course, so you'll be able to, to see it as it happens. There's our one through 10 all labeled up. And where are we? There we, that's where you need to be and me behind you. All right, there's our one through 10. I'm just gonna hit randomize one time. First five numbers will open the corresponding five boxes. If it ever does hit, did I not hit randomize? I thought I did, I guess I didn't. <laughs> I have to hit it again, there we go. It gives us nine, six, four, three, and 10. So three, four, six, nine, and 10 are what we're opening tonight. All right, so let's get those going. There's three, four. We don't need five. We do need six. What else did I say? Nine and ten, right? Yeah, nine and ten. All right, let me get these other five back uh, out of the way, guys, and then we'll start cracking into our mini helmets. One minute, please. Okay, so sometimes these will have collegiate helmets in them. If that happens to be the case tonight and we pull something that's not showing an NFL team, if it is a current active player, it will go to the player's current team. If it should happen to be a collegiate helmet for a retired uh, player, then it would go to the team they played for the longest. All that info you can find in the listing description down at... Uh, in the special circumstances area. Lambo Leaper is here. Kay's here. Your loft and jersey got there. Awesome, man. And Mike is here. And Allison. Allison, I don't remember what the bid price started at for these, honestly. Does anybody remember? Uh, you know what? Truthfully, I have had it for, I've had that template for so long, I don't even do anything but change out, you know, the date of the break. So, <laughs> honestly, honestly, I don't know. Isn't that awful? But I don't. Okay, we have a Johnny Rogers starting off, and Johnny Rogers, there's a TriStar uh, authentic, uh, just a generic thing about authentication. There's your authentication sticker. This guy, of course, the very first one that comes out, we gotta get one on a collegiate helmet. Doesn't that just figure? It's gonna be that kind of day, isn't it? So I, you know why I say that? Because I have no idea about Johnny Rogers. So guess what? We're going to go, I'm going to go here to NFL.com and uh, see if I can't find out what we need to know about this dude because I have absolutely no earthly idea where he should be going. But we're going to look it up and then we're going to know. So give me one second while I'm waiting for this to load. NFL.com, sometimes a little slower than I would prefer it to be. 
I don't know why they can't just put NFL helmets in there all the time, but they really don't. All right, looks like Mr. Johnny Rogers played for two years in the 70s for the Chargers, according to NFL.com. So Johnny Rogers there going to the Chargers. All right. Now, yeah, see Strong Crosby. You didn't know who Johnny Rogers was either. Me neither. Like I, a lot of these older guys I do know, but I didn't know that guy at all. Hi, Mickey. Hey, man, uh, you got my message, right, that I'm going to be in the post office to go talk to, you know, the main man on Thursday and see if they can find anything about that package that's floating around in, in USPS space somewhere. Next up is Lenny Moore for the Colts. So a little info card, the generic TriStar thing, the most important part, the hologram sticker on the back, and uh, then, your, then your autograph on the top which might arguably be the most important part. However, <laughs> if, if you were missing that sticker, that would be bad. You can be missing the piece of paper, it doesn't really matter. But if you are missing the sticker, then you'd have to pay to have it authenticated all over again. So that's the, that's the uh, important part as far as the authentication goes anyway. Ooh, Texans on a little fire helmet, this looks like. And, well, maybe not fire, but chrome, anyway. Justin Reed comes out for the Houston Texans. And once again, our little TriStar dealio. And there's your hologram sticker. And he signed it on the front. How about that for a little change of pace? Signs it right on the front of the helmet. I like that. That's cool. I like the little chrome helmet. Nice. So we are Chargers, Colts, and Texans so far. Three of five out. Lambo, you said the Johnny Rogers is a rare kind of signature. I guess, man. Like, <laughs> I just, like I said, I've never heard of the guy. So, that's, I mean, that's not to say he wasn't awesome and great and all that. But I was probably a little young to be following football when he was playing. So, maybe that's why I don't know him. I don't know. Strong Crosby, have we ever seen a bonus ticket in these? You know what? I have opened... I don't even know how many cases of jerseys and mini helmets, and the answer is a big resounding no. Mel Renfro comes out next, and once again, we are TriStar authenticated, and there's your signature on the top, and that is the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, allegedly they put them in. I don't, is this one of them? Yeah, I guess it is. It's got the little symbol on it. Allegedly, they're in there at some, I don't know what kind of ratio, but listen, I probably opened, I bet you we opened 10 or 12 cases of jerseys this year. We've opened three or four probably cases of these mini helmets. I mean, in years past, I've sometimes opened five or six cases of them and never gotten jack diddly jack, so I don't know. Vince Young. And uh, Vince Young is a Titan that is on a collegiate helmet, but of course he's retired. He would be Titans, though. We've looked him up before to verify him. There is your hologram sticker on the back, and there's your signature on the top. So, let's recap our mini helmets here. We have Vince Young out for the Tennessee Titans, signed on a collegiate helmet. And bear with me, I'm going to get these boxed back up as we go. And I'm also going to label them on the top so that I don't have to keep opening them back up and stuff, right? Then we have the Mel Renfro next here for the Cowboys. Would help if my thumb wasn't on the name, wouldn't it? I'll just go ahead and say yes, it would be helpful if I didn't have my thumb covering the name. <laughs> All right, our third one, my favorite out of this break because it's a chrome and it's shiny. It's pretty. That is uh, for the Texans. I like the fire helmets and the ice helmets and the chrome helmets. And truthfully, they don't come out super often, so it's kind of cool when we do get one. 
Lenny Moore and the Colts, our fourth of five. And then, of course, uh, the dude that, um, <clears throat> that I had to stop and look up, which we learned is a charger, is the Johnny Rogers here, who was on a collegiate helmet as well. Apparently only played two years in the NFL, both in the 70s and both for the Chargers. All right, so mini helmets, locked and loaded. Give me a hot second to get them stacked out of the line of fire, and then we're going to move on down the road. <clears throat> We've got Origins football coming up next. One of my personal favorites. You know how I love my Origins. So I'm going to be most excited to get into that. I hit the camera again, didn't I? Every time I move around those mini helmets, I always hit the camera. All right. For anybody who missed it earlier, here's the info. <coughs> Free shipping stuff out the door no later than Tuesday a week from today, which is September the 3rd. Paid shipping breaks uh, should be on the way to you approximately Saturday. On paid shipping breaks, if you get skunked, your consolation cards will ship with the rest of the break. If you got skunked on one of the free shipping breaks, usually your consolation card will be held to go with your next package, or if you already have a package going tonight for something else, of course it would be in with that. Let me know if you have any questions. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, 16 box case, Origins Football, break number two. And also ended tonight on eBay, the 27th of August. Team names on one side, winning bidders across from on the opposite side. And you know what, guys? When we get to Leaf Rookie Retro, there was a, uh, somebody who had a team that, I hope you're in here in chat, who had a team that they didn't mean to buy. They forgot a decimal point or something. Um, and it looks like they did go ahead and pay for it, which is much appreciated. But if that person is live and if you want to try to move that team or have me move that team out for you in chat or it, you know, now during the live break, uh, hit me up in chat and let me know. Okay. I don't know if you're watching live or not. And I don't remember which bidding position it was. I just remember I saw a message saying somebody bid by mistake and I assumed maybe they had canceled it themselves because you guys know you can go in and cancel your own bids. I didn't see it till the auction was over and then I subsequently saw that no that's not what happened uh, but they were good enough to go ahead and pay for it which is appreciated so if we can help them out we will. All right, guys, hang on one second. My asthma is kicking up. Let me just use my inhaler here for one second. And maybe that then will keep me from having to, you know, hack and cough and clear my throat and whatnot uh, in your ear. We will hope, right? Um, Mickey, you said that guy was high school athlete of the year in the 60s. You're talking about the guy I didn't know from the helmets, I'm assuming, right? Donald, we have not done Leaf Rookie Retro yet. It is, we did the mini helmets, and of course, Origins is up now. Leaf Rookie Retro is third, NT Collegiate is fourth. As you can see here with Origins, if anybody didn't know this already, it is a one pack per box kind of product. So anytime we have products that are like this that have just a pack or two per box, I generally like to go through and just get all the packs out before we start. And that way, once we get rolling, we can just keep right on trucking. That's, that's the general idea anyway. Mickey, you need some lions. All right, we'll try to get you some lions. And also, Mickey, thank you for answering that question for Donald, too. I appreciate that. Always grateful when you guys jump in and, and help with the questions in chat, because sometimes you're going to see them before I see them. And that's because there's a little delay from the time you type it in until the time I see it, and also because, well, I'm multitasking. 
so sometimes, uh, you know, I don't look over there right at that exact second. All right, we are about there. <laughs> a few more to get out, lots of packaging. I will tell you that I felt one pack in here that felt kind of thick. Now, the last time we did a case of this and I felt a pack that felt kind of thick, man, was there a nice looking booklet in there. So, I didn't get a super, super good feel of it, so I can't tell you 100% for sure if it's a booklet. I'll have to feel it better, you know, when we get closer to it, but it might be. We might have a booklet in there. I'm thinking that we do. Possibly. Sometimes they fool me and it's not, but it definitely felt like it had that possibility. And our other booklet from case number one was so awesome. It was, I think, what was it? It was really low numbered too. It'd be crazy if we could pull like the same booklet out tonight, wouldn't it? I would love that. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Just getting a few sleeves out on the table and... We're going to be rocking and rolling here through some origins. Allison, you hit a Pat Mahomes one of one in a break on Sunday. Nice. Yeah, I hope you are going to bring that good luck to us for sure. Absolutely. We like one of ones. Bring it on. Bring it on. Allison, I like the way you think. All right, so we're starting off with a couple of numbered base cards in this instance, and uh, that one's to $2.99. It's Jamal Adams for the Jets. You can notice, guys, these corners are, you know, they're not perfect, okay? They've got little uh, bits of chipping and imperfections on them. There's Justin Tucker for the Ravens. It's to $1.99. It's exactly the same. I mean, along these edges and corners, pretty much all of these, you can expect to see some some wear. That's just the sad fact of the matter. And then we have a base card for the Redskins, one for the Titans, and a hit headed our way for the Giants with a little Tiki Barber relic numbered to 25. Behind that comes Justice Hill. Same as, guys. Corners. Yuck. They are not looking pretty tonight. So Justice Hill for the Ravens is our autograph. Here comes Kyler right out of the very first box. Oh, how you like me now, Arizona? Mm-hmm, that's right. It is numbered to 49 for Kyler Murray. Woohoo! I like that. Got the Cardinals, you like that. <clears throat> Allison, you said you're not going to breathe until it arrives in the mail. I know. I mean, honestly, I ship thousands upon thousands of packages every year, and I very seldom have one completely lost. It might happen once a year, twice a year. I mean, sometimes they do get rerouted. I've had them go to really weird places. I've had them go to Canada when they should be going next door. <laughs> this is to $4.99 Mike Evans in the Bucks. I've had several recently go to Puerto Rico first, which is weird, to $2.99, the Falcons. But usually they show up somewhere. It's the Cardinals and the Lions. But of course, with the post office, you, you know, you never know. Well, with anybody, FedEx or UPS too, there's always the risk. A.J. Brown and the Tennessee Titans, that is numbered to 25. Here comes Tony Pollard and the Cowboys. And uh, Tony here is not numbered. Damian Harris, Patriots. So that's a nice little hit for the Pats, who will be playing my Steelers. Ay, ay, ay. Mike, you've got the Chiefs in NT Collegiate. I love watching Pat Mahomes play. You know, I mean, I'm a Steelers uh, fan by trade, if you will, but I absolutely love watching Pat Mahomes. I think he's a lot of fun. It's to 175 for the Redskins to 299 also for the Redskins. Base is the Lions and the Saints. 
our relic is coming out for Will Greer and the Panthers. And Will Greer is what? Numbered to 199. Damian Harris comes out a second time for the Patriots. And again, guys, these corners on all these with some minor imperfections. Kansas City Chiefs with Miko Hardman Jr. That's a nice looking relic. That is numbered to 49. So Miko Hardman Jr., I think I heard somebody say he was looking pretty good in preseason and whatnot. So I think so. Next up to two, is that to two? Yeah, to 299, Mark Ingram and the Ravens. And then you have a little Ezekiel Elliott to 175 for the boys. The Buccaneers and the Broncos, our two base cards. Here comes a Kyler Murray relic for the Cardinals. You've already got the nice signature, so you're already breathing kind of easy if you're Arizona, but that's just one to add to the pile. Meanwhile, Ravens continue to kind of clean up tonight. Miles Boykin, and Miles is numbered to 49. Devin Singletary and the Buffalo Bills. And it is numbered to 25. Very nice, very nice. Mike, you said there's, I didn't know there were, there's Pat Mahomes cereal? What are we talking, like Wheaties? Is he on a Wheaties box or something? I think Serena Williams was on a Wheaties box not too long ago. I kind of meant to look for that, and then I forgot. Chandler Jones to 299 for the Cardinals. Kamara to, I started to say Kamara. Is it Kamara or Kamara? Anyway, it's to 99 for the Saints. And I every time I say his name, it's wrong. And I say it both ways at various points. DeAndre Hopkins for the Texans. Travis Kelsey for the Chiefs are our base. We have a Dwayne Haskins relic coming for the Redskins. And that is to 175. Steve, the Chrome Sapphire guy. All right, cool. Yeah, man, I didn't see any information uh in regard to you having bid with me before so i didn't have access to any kind of contact info for you so what i would like to do is bill those through paypal rather than having to list them on ebay because if i list them on ebay they're going to take 10 percent of course which i would rather avoid but i don't know if you are okay with that or not that is riley ridley and the bears Irv Smith Jr. for the Minnesota Vikings. And a nice two-color patch and relic. And what I will also tell you is, Steve, you can, um, you know, I can't, we can't really talk very freely about much of any of this in eBay messages because they get really nasty about it. Like they'll, you know, you they'll kick you off there if you do too much of uh, requesting or selling or talking about not doing things on eBay. That is Philip Rivers to 99 for the Chargers. Um, but if you, oh, you emailed my AOL email? Okay, I'm glad you told me that because I absolutely never check that. Um, so I will make myself a note to check it. I was getting ready to give you a Gmail address, but if you sent one to AOL already, I will just make a point of going to look for it after we get off the break then tonight. Lamar Jackson to 299 for the Ravens. And then we've got some base for Aaron Donald and Luke Keckley for the Panthers. So yeah, I'll find that, Steve, and it may be tomorrow. Might be it'll either be late tonight or it might be tomorrow. But I'll find that email and um, hit you up with a reply, and we'll work out the details on everything. But basically, I'll just invoice it through PayPal. So this is T.J. Hawkinson to 199 for the Lions with a nice three-color relic. Daniel Jones. Ooh, yeah, baby. I like me some Daniel Jones for the Giants to 49. This kid has been looking good in preseason, guys. I mean, I'll admit it. I kind of rolled my eyes a little bit when they took him as high in the draft as they did because I thought he would be there later. But 
have to admit he's impressed me in the preseason. A redemption. It sets right there in housekeeping. We're going to leave it face down until the end of the break, and then we will flip it over, find out who's on the other side, and go to the Panini website to check it out. So, Mike, you said Pat Mahomes has a generic Frosted flake cereal at a regional grocery store. <laughs> it's to $2.99, Sam Darnold and the Jets. I wonder what they paid him to do that. That's so awesome. That is numbered to 99, Carl Joseph and the Raiders. And our plane base, the Seahawks and the Cardinals. Cardinals are going to have another relic with Hakeem Butler. And Hakeem is numbered to 199. J.J. Arcega Whiteside for the Philadelphia Eagles. Ooh, green ink. You know what that means. That's right. That bad boy is numbered to five. Nice if you're the Eagles. Nice, nice, nice. I like that. Riley Ridley and the Chicago Bears. And Riley there with a three-color relic and signed his, his name a little bit off the sticker, kind of. Baker Mayfield, numbered to 10 for the Browns. Always good to see him come out to 10. To 175, there's Pat Mahomes, speak of the devil, Kansas City Chiefs. Our base heads to the Giants and the Browns. Vikings with a relic for Alexander Madison. It's a big relic, to 175. Easton Stick comes out for the Chargers. And uh, Easton, a nice little hit. I know, Mickey says we need to wake his lions up. I mean, we did get the one nice relic, but we could use a little more for you, right? Miko Hardman Jr. coming out a second time for the Kansas City Chiefs. This is numbered to 25. It is Jimmy Graham with the Green Bay Packers. And then to 299, we have Vaughn Miller for the Broncos. We have some base for the Chargers and the Bears. A relic for the Patriots. Mr. Jarrett Stidham. Here comes one for you, Mickey. Coming up next to 199, four color relic for the Pats. A little TJ Hawkinson ink headed your way, my friend. That'll make you happier, right? I'm thinking. And another Riley Ridley. Come on, Panini. We don't need all these dupes in here. Well, you do if you're getting the dupes. You're like, yeah, keep going. <laughs> but if you're anybody who's not getting the dupes, you're a little bit like, wait a minute. Matt Ryan to 175 for the Falcons. Behind him to 299 was Joe Mixon and the Bengals. Our base, the Panthers and the Chargers. Our relic is the Rams for Daryl Henderson. Number to 99, Will Greer, Panthers. And Will is gold ink. Also very nice. Number to 25. Honestly, I always thought the gold should be lower numbered because, you know, you think a gold is, I don't know, lower numbered than, say, green. <laughs> but that's not how they do it. So they don't care what I think about it. Imagine that. Andy Isabella and the Arizona Cardinals. We're going to need some 49ers and some Raiders. All right. We'll work the mojo and try to get you some Niners and some Raiders. Well, there's Jimmy G on the top to 175 for your 49ers. And to 299, that's Jameis Winston for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We've got base for the Dolphins and base for the Bills. By the way, I heard somebody say today they 
uh, it was an agent, maybe Rosen, was it Rosenhaus? I don't know. An agent said that wasn't representing Josh Rosen said that he thinks Josh Rosen Rosen will probably be the starter down in Miami that he's looking better. It's to 175 relic Giants Daniel Jones. Here come my Pittsburgh Steelers. Benny Snell Jr. Benny is numbered 225. Miles Sanders and the Eagles. Coming up next, Allison needs Texans and Jets. All right, we'll work on that one too. It's to 99 for the Eagles. <laughs> Travis is happy with the dupes. He's like, yeah, just keep just keep pulling those. I'm happy with those. <laughs> Frank, you like that Daniel Jones autograph earlier? That was nice, wasn't it? Your Giants fan. To 175, it's Calvin Ridley for the Falcons. And to 299, Tremaine Edmonds for the Buffalo Bills. Base goes to the Raiders and the Vikings. A relic for one James Harrison and the Pittsburgh Steelers. I still feel a little iffy about him after his little stint over there with the Patriots. It's to 25. Not so much that he went to the Patriots. It's just all the stuff he said. DK Metcalf and the Seahawks with an autograph. And Bryce Love, Washington Redskins. But speaking of, you know, all talking and ex-Steelers, you know, people keep asking Big Ben about all these situations, you know, what happened with Le'Veon, what happened with uh, Antonio. And, I mean, it's water under the bridge, but it, they, he keeps getting asked, so he keeps answering. And somehow it came up again a day or two ago, and basically, you know, he said, look, I wish I had never said any of that stuff that I said about Antonio. You know, it ruined our friendship, and I hate that it happened. I mean, basically trying to be, you know, kind of a classy guy and... Say any wish, saying he wished he hadn't done it, etc. It's to 99, Josh Norman. And behind that, to 299 for the Chargers. So then Antonio Brown comes out and says, we were never friends and shut your mouth, basically. So I'm like, oh, well, that's nice, Antonio. We see how you are now. <laughs> Cardinals and Ravens base. I'm like, if anybody wants to, you know, not let it die down, it would seem to be him. And he also seems to be a very bitter, nasty little man, too. So, go figure. Kurt Warner and Jared Goff, dual relics to 49. And they couldn't even give us a second color on either one of them. But nonetheless, Rams, that's yours. And speaking of Antonio, here's his cousin, Marquise Hollywood Brown. For the Ravens, numbered to 49. Terry McLaurin, Redskins. Redskins are dancing all around it, but haven't seen your quarterback yet. Mickey, you are looking for a Lions RPA. All right, my friend. We'll try to add to your, add to your haul for the Lions and see if we can accomplish that for you. To 299, the recently retired Andrew Luck and the Colts, followed by the Biscuit to 299 for the Bears. We have base for the Cardinals and the Saints. A relic for Miles Sanders and the Eagles. Number to 175. Here's another Easton stick. I can't remember if our other one was an autograph or a relic, but this is definitely an autograph for the Chargers. And our first Raider of the night, Josh Jacobs for the Raiders, numbered 275. Closing in on it. Mike is saying the Eagles are getting a lot of hits tonight. So are the Ravens and, and the Cardinals and the Redskins. We've had several teams with multiple hits in here tonight. The Browns to 99. The Broncos to 299. Base for the Colts. Base for the Niners. Here comes a relic for the Patriots. It is Nikhil Harry. <laughs> I know Glenn's relieved. He's like, finally, something comes out for one of my teams. 
to 49, the Patriots three color relic. Here's a 49er for you. It is Nick Bosa, same as the others. You know, you got some imperfections on your corners and your edges there on the back, but nothing too dreadful. And a little Nick Bosa to 99 might brighten your spirits a little bit. Huh? How about that? And a second Irv Smith Jr. for the Vikings. Now, this is the one that felt really thick to me and I thought might have a booklet in it. And you'll see I scooched it up there to last in case it had a booklet in it. Because <laughs> I'm evil like that. Um, but I, I think it does. But anyway, we've got another redemption too. So we're going to go ahead and grab it out of there. And I hope that's not the reason it was feeling super thick. But we'll see here in a second. To two ninety nine for the Bills, LaShawn McCoy. To 175, that one was Carl Joseph for the Raiders. Then we have a little base for the Titans and the Broncos. Aaron Jones comes out for the Green Bay Packers. And it is numbered to 49. We do have a booklet. It's not a multi-signature booklet, though, like our last one was. This is headed to the Ravens, who've already had a fantastic night. You'll notice you've got some problems with uh, both your corners, some chipping. Spine doesn't look too bad. The back doesn't look too bad, uh, but definitely some noticeable stuff on both of your edges there. It is to 25 Marquise Hollywood Brown. So here's hoping he turns out to be as good as uh, Antonio and make you a little money on that would be the goal, wouldn't it? All right, we're going to recap this in a moment, but before we can do that, we've got a couple of redemptions that need to be flipped over. So we'll flip them over, then we'll go to the Panini website where we will verify that the team I tell you is correct, and we'll also find out what, if anything, it is numbered to. So David Montgomery comes up first, which should be the Bears Jumbo uh, Rookie Jumbo Patch Autographs. And our second around is Deontay Johnson Rookie Jumbo Patch Autographs, which I think is my Steelers, right? Or no, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Deontay Thompson is a Cardinal. Deontay Johnson is my Steelers. I said Johnson, didn't I? I think it did. All right, so let's roll ourselves back over in this general direction whereby we can... Get a little info from our dear friends at Panini and see what they can share with us here. All right, so rookie jumbo patch autographs we're looking for first. Well, we're getting there. Jumbo patch autographs. Card number 111 should be David Montgomery. And sure enough, there he is. He's the Bears, as expected. It is going to be an open edition, meaning it's not numbered. If it were numbered, we would see the number off to the right there, which we don't see. Now, in the same uh, same card set, Rookie Jumbo Patch Autographs, card number 123 is going to be Deontay Johnson right there. He is Pittsburgh Steelers, as we expected him to be. Also, of course, an open edition, meaning unnumbered. All right, so that's all labeled up. Let's get you back here to me, and we're going to recap some stuff. Carlos, you're glad you got outbid on the Redskins. Well, the Redskins hit several things, but I guess not what you liked, I'm going to assume then, because they hit two or three RPAs in here. Uh, anyway, there is Terry McLaurin, Redskins, Bryce Love, Redskins, James Harrison for the Steelers, Benny Snell Jr. for the Steelers, that is Will Greer and the Panthers, then we have Riley Ridley for the Bears, Jarrett Stidham for the Patriots, and Nicole Hardman Jr. for the Kansas City Chiefs, Easton Stick for the Chargers, J.J. Arcega Whiteside Eagles, numbered to five, Irv Smith Jr. for the Vikings, another Nicole Hardman Jr., that one is to 49. Damian Harris, Patriots, Will Greer, Panthers, Damian Harris, Patriots. Tony Pollard for the Cowboys, A.J. Brown for the Titans. There's that nice little Kyler Murray that came out early on to 49 for the Cardinals. 
Justice Hill and the Ravens, Tiki Barber and the Giants. Marquise Hollywood Brown Ravens booklet to 25. Very nice little hit right there for the Ravens. And along with it, another Marquise Hollywood Brown to 49. Ravens did quite well. Dual relics for the Rams. DK Metcalf and the Seahawks. Miles Sanders Eagles. Daniel Jones for the Giants. Andy Isabella, Cardinals, Daryl Henderson, Rams, TJ Hawkinson, Lions. This is Chandler Hutchison for the Vikings, Riley Ridley for the Bears. For the Cardinals, Hakeem Butler. There's a nice little Daniel Jones to 49 for the Giants. A TJ Hawkinson relic for the Lions, Riley Ridley and the Bears. Dwayne Haskins Relic for the Redskins, Devin Singletary for the Bills, Miles Boykin for the Ravens, and um, another one for the Cardinals with the Kyler Murray Relic. Then we have our two redemptions, Deontay Johnson for the Steelers. It is a RPA unnumbered, and for the Bears, you have David Montgomery, RPA unnumbered. A relic for the Packers. There's Irv Smith Jr. again for the Vikings. Here's Nick Bosa for the 49ers. Nikhil Harry and the Patriots. Josh Jacobs and the Raiders. Easton Stick for the Chargers. And Miles Sanders for the Eagles. All right, guys, that is Origins. We're going to go into a little Leaf Rookie Retro coming up next. So let me see if I can get us in the right spot to take a look at that. And once again, if my Leaf Rookie Retro bidder is here in chat, the one that uh, apparently had a team that you didn't intend to, you left out a decimal point in your bid, if you are here in chat and you want me to try to move that letter for you, speak now or forever hold your peace. I mentioned it earlier, but... Whoever it was either decided to keep it or is it in chat or wasn't then. So if you're here now and you want some help with that, um, please jump in and let me know in chat right now, okay? So once again, our free shipping breaks, the helmets that we've just completed, Rookie Retro that we're about to do, free shipping stuff should be on the way to you no later than a week from today, Tuesday the 3rd of September. Often goes sooner but won't be any later than that. Uh, if you get skunked in either of those free shipping breaks, consolation cards will go out when your next package ships, unless you want it sent by itself right away, in which case you send me a message and let me know. Our paid shipping break should be on the way approximately Saturday. That's Origins that we just finished in NT Collegiate that we haven't quite gotten to yet. And if you get skunked in one of those, consolation cards will go out when the rest of the break ships because those are paid shipping breaks, okay? So this is a five box half case of Leaf Rookie Retro. This is break number two. We've got a uh, spot sold by the first letter of the last name. So for instance, Tom Brady, which we pulled out of an earlier break, would go to the B's. Okay, so Terry Bradshaw would go to the B's. You know, Mean Joe Green would go to the G's, etc. You'll notice that there are some letters that were combined. P and Q are one spot. TUV is one spot. X, Y, and Z is one spot. There are three letters that got no bids at all. That was I and K and O. So if anything were to come out for I or K or O, it would simply uh, hang out here with me since it was unsold. We are now going to... Take all these out of here. You know the drill. It's the start of a new case, but we're not breaking the whole case at once. So we're going to take these out. I'm going to number them on the end and then let random.org decide for us which ones we open tonight versus which ones we will be opening a little bit later this week when we finish up this case. Let's see if I can get them out differently. They don't want to come out that way. Let's try it this way. Come on out of there, man. There we go. They don't always want to cooperate with me. See, they're like stuck together. Weird, right? A little bit. 
a little bit weird, I think. <laughs> They're kind of stuck together. Strange. All right, so let me get them numbered up. And it'll be the same thing, guys. I'll just go type in 1 through 10. I will hit random a single time. The first five numbers that come up after I randomize will open those corresponding five boxes. All right, so let's get over here to do roll random. Okay, kids, um, I start to say good luck. <laughs> I guess we don't really need good luck on this one, do we? So used to it being certain teams involved. All right, so we are opening 7, 2, 10, 1, and 5. 1, 2, 5, 7, and 10 is what Random has given us. 1, 2, 5, 7, 10. All right, 1, 2, 5, 7, and 10. All right. Let me get the others set uh, aside, and we'll get right back with you. Now, Leaf Rookie Retro, we have got, of course, one buyback card in here that will be traded, and it'll be a rookie card, hence the name of the product. We've also got one Leaf Original card in each box. I think they kind of have to add those to make it a new product since they're buyback cards. There's some kind of rules about that, about what constitutes a new product or not. And I think that's, I think that's why they have to put those base in there or something like that. Kyle is hoping for some Trey Young. Strong Crosby, it is always fun in Rookie Retro. Uh, as I said, we did an earlier break of it and hit a Tom Brady graded rookie out of it, and I don't even remember what else. But, like, Leaf Best of Basketball, Leaf Best of Football, Rookie Retro, all those are really cool buyback products that uh, I always enjoy. And, you know, like Ultimate Sports and Sports Heroes and some of those are nice too. A lot of those are nice, but a lot of those are Leaf original cards, whereas the buybacks kind of have a special little place in my heart. All right, so I'm assuming whoever had the misplaced decimal on whatever letter it was is good to go because I haven't heard them come into chat and say, yes, they want to try to move it out to someone else. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll pay off then for you. And I do appreciate you going ahead and getting it taken care of, too. That's very much appreciated. So our Leaf original card here is Casey Mize, number 25, goes to the M's. I started to say Detroit Tigers, but this is first letter of the last name, so it goes to the M's. Saquon Barkley, the B's, off to a nice start because that's out of National Treasures. Number to 99 trio of autograph or trio of relics and an autograph. The card is graded to 9.5. The art autograph is graded to 10. So the bees are off to a nice start once again tonight. Our leaf original card is Daniel Jones, number to 20. That goes to the J bidding position. And our graded card here is a little Lamar Jackson. That is um, a score. Well, this was that would have been in something else, though, right? No, I guess not. Score. Uh, all right. So out of the gold zone is the card set. And it graded to 9, autograph grade to 10, card numbered to 25. So the Bs and the Js with our graded hits so far. And is that Casey Mize again? Yeah, it is. Another one for the M's. A uh, hockey dude. Who is our hockey dude here? This is Jonathan Toes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know this guy at all. But anyway, um, are they, is that? Yeah, okay. Jonathan T-O whatever. E-W-S. <laughs> Young Guns out of 2007-8 Upper Deck. 
It is 9.5 uh, card grade. Doesn't seem to have, well, it's not autographed. That's why it has no autograph grade. But I don't know anything about that. I don't know if that is a good hit or not a good hit. You guys, we've talked about this before. I don't know anything about hockey. But it goes to the T. And Mickey says Toes is awesome. So it must be a good hit then. All right. Well, good. I do not know enough about hockey to even know if that was a good hit. Tatis, that's headed to the T's as well. Uh, number 235 with our Leaf original card. And our graded hit in this box, another one for the B's. Wow. And that's your uh, little good little prospect there for the Phillies. Alec Bohm to 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade. It's a first Bowman Bowman Chrome, really nice prospect for the Phillies. Might be worth a little dinero when he gets called up. And we have Mo Bamba, another one for the Bees. That's our Leaf original card. It's numbered to three. And are you kidding me? Another Tom Brady rookie. We've done two breaks of this, and we've had two Tom Brady rookies. Each have been a half case break. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? This is out of 2000 Bowman Chrome, and the card is graded to a 9. So, like, wow. <laughs> Come on, man. If you have the bees in here, whatever you paid for it, it doesn't really matter. You made a lot of money. You, you got a bargain no matter what you paid. All right, so there is Mo Bamba. For the B, Fernando Tatis Jr. for the T's, Casey Mize, M, Daniel Jones, J, Casey Mize, M, Tom Brady for the B's, Alec Beam, Boehm, Boehm for the B's, I, you know I'm butchering it, and uh, this guy, Jonathan Toes for the T's. There's Lamar Jackson for the Jays and another B with the National Treasures, Saquon Barkley. So, I, like, whoever has B, just, yeah, go ahead and walk to the bank if you're reselling that because you just made yourself a good little chunk of change. All right, that's going to bring us to National Treasures Collegiate, our final break of the night. Let's get some info up here about that. So by now, you've heard me talk about this a few times. I would say even people who have jumped in and out have probably heard me go through it by now. So I'm not going to read it all off again. However, if you haven't heard me say it and you haven't read it, now's the time. It gives you information about your potential shipping dates and consolation cards if you happen to have gotten skunked or get skunked in your break. We hope you don't, but that happens. It's a four-box case of National Treasures Collegiate Football. This is a full case break, and it is break number two. Also ended tonight on eBay, Tuesday night, the 27th of August. Once again, we have team names on one side, winning bidders across from each team on the opposite side. NT is always fun, whether it's regular NT or NT Collegiate. It is always a blast to open. We typically get some really good stuff out of it, as you should, because it's like a really expensive kind of product. So, yeah, we should be getting some really nice hits in here. This and, of course, Flawless and some of those are the, the high end of the Panini line. Now, since this is a collegiate pro uh, product, it's the same as any of our other collegiate things. And that means that it goes to the current team if it is an active player. And if it is a retired player, it goes to the team they played for the longest. Now, of course, the full details on all of that you can find in the listing description down there in that little special circumstances area. I did not get that cut very well now, did I? Eventually, I guess I did, but it took a minute. Mike, you need the Chiefs in here. Brandon needs the Packers. So the Chiefs and the Packers on board. All right. We 
we will see what we come up with. Hopefully some nice stuff to make everybody happy. I don't know if this is a hand collated product or not. It might be. I do know Flawless is hand collated. So, you know, unlike a lot of the products that are not hand collated where you'll get lots and lots of repetition, uh, you know, the, the hand collated ones obviously are not like that. I suspect that this is hand collated, although I don't know it for sure. I know for sure Flawless is. Origins has already broken, Derek. Yeah, we it was uh, the second break of the night, so it is... It is a bit in the rear view, my friend. It was Mini Helmets first, Origins second, Rookie Retro was third, and National Treasures Collegiate here is the fourth and final break of the night. All right, kids. Let me get a few more little sleeves out. And we'll see what there is to find in national treasures tonight we hope it's going to be filled with all kinds of awesomeness it usually is so we are going to start off numbered to 99 with john elway which of course will be the broncos and then numbered to 25 is nick chubb that's the browns Right off the bat, we've got a multi-relic here, and that means, well, a couple of things. Probably it's going to go to random.org, but the way that we determine that, you have to own 51% or more of the card, meaning someone would have to own three of the four teams to take this out right. So we have Baker Mayfield up here, which is uh, the Browns. Kiki QT behind him, which is the Texans, Joe Mixon for the Bengals, and Pat Mahomes for the Kansas City Chiefs. So for now, that will set up in housekeeping, and we'll deal with it at the end of this break. A Redemption, also going to set up there in housekeeping. We'll flip it over at the end of the break and learn a little more about it. Kelvin Harmon. Kelvin is numbered to 99, and... I honestly don't remember Kelvin Harmon. Um, I think Redskins, guys. But I think he was a Redskins draft pick, but I'll have to double check that before I get it out the door, obviously. Mitch Trubisky, of course, we know where he is to 99 for the Bears. And behind that is a little Drew Locke to 99. Nice for the Broncos. Mike, what'd you say dang about? Oh, about the multi? Is that what you're talking about? Justice Hill. Man, the Ravens are carrying over their luck. They had an Origins, apparently. Uh, so we've got a little booklet here for Justice Hill, which will be for the Ravens. And it is numbered to, it appears to be 68. So you've got a pair of relics here and here, and uh, the signature in there as well. So booklet for Justice Hill. Box number two is Mitch Trubisky. So once again, that is the Bears. That's numbered to 99. And then you have Jerry Rice. Very nice. 49ers, 249. Aw. And behind him is Julio Jones to 99. Falcons. <laughs> Mike, you don't like your odds on the booklet. I know, those are always, I hate, you know, hate always having to do random because it means somebody's going to get disappointed. We've got ourselves a one of one here for Billy Sims. I think Billy Sims is a bingle, isn't he? Let's double check that because that is a one of one. And so let's check that one like right, right now <laughs> so that I don't tell you wrong on that. Um, let's just check it out real quickly. I didn't mind waiting to look up the other guy before, but on a one of one, we're just gonna, you know, look it up now. Come on, Billy Sims. Where are you, buddy? Billy Sims. Go. 
Oh, why am I? Oh, because I've got it. Hang on. I'm sorry. I looked in the way wrong spot. Good grief. Well, in a second, I will eventually get it in here. Billy Sims, come on, brother. Played in the 80s. For some reason, I cannot get NFL.com to cooperate with me at all. I'm trying, guys. I'm sorry. The Lions, actually. So, see, I was way wrong. He's not a bingle. He's a lion. You guys are probably saying that in chat, but I couldn't see chat. So, <laughs> I was using the iPad to look it up. So, Billy Sims, one of one. He's not a bingle. He's a lion with a printing plate autograph for Detroit. We have got a second redemption. It hangs out up here in housekeeping. We'll check it out at the end of the break. Hunter Renfro to 99. That is the Oakland Raiders. So there goes that one. Oh, um, Spanish Mamba, we are just getting started, man. So you haven't missed it yet. We haven't had any Giants out of here yet, but we've uh, just barely getting started in NT Collegiate. Damian Harris to 99. That is the Patriots. And our booklet here is Josh Jacobs, and it's to five. Very nice for the Raiders. And we always kind of look at the spine and the front and the back and all that stuff. Oh, look at that relic. Nice. Very, very nice. Josh Jacobs for the Raiders, numbered to five with that fantastic uh, Crimson Tide Alabama logo in there. Tall Paul, uh, yes, you just missed a one-of-one one lion, as a matter of fact. Yeah, how about that? You do have a lion in here. Sony Michelle to 99. Sony is a patriot. Number to 25, it's Lamar Jackson for the Ravens. Melvin Gordon is coming up behind with a relic. Melvin Gordon is a charger. That is to 99. And we've got a little old school here. Billy Cannon. And Billy is numbered to 49. And I cannot think where Billy goes either. So let's see what we can find about Billy Cannon while I'm at it. I wisely left the NFL website up this time. <laughs> so I could... Look it up a little faster. Um, all right, Billy Cannon. There's two Billy Cannons on here. So let's see. He's the one that went to LSU, though, the one that played a long time. All right, it looks like he has one, two, three, four years with the Oilers, which are Titans. One, two, three, four, five, six Raiders and one Chief. So Raiders winning out on that one. So this fellow here, Billy Cannon, Raiders. Elijah Holyfield, numbered to 99. Elijah was an undrafted sort of fellow and went uh, to the Carolina Panthers, I do believe. Right? Yeah, I think he uh, went to the Panthers as an undrafted free agent. Devin Singletary to 25. That is the Bills. Then we have Debo Samuel to 10 for the 49ers. And our booklet is going to be for the Bears. It is David Montgomery, numbered to 90 for the Chicago Bears. All righty, kids. We have got... I want to get these all facing the same way, I think. One left. So we're heading into a little last box mojo here with our final box of NT tonight. And let's see what we can come up with. Numbered to 99, that is Barry Sanders for the S bidding position. And only one base card in there? No, they just stacked them in there out of order. There's the other one. It's numbered to 25. It's Baker Mayfield for the Browns. Did I say Barry Sanders for the S? I did from when we were breaking Leaf Rookie Retro. I was doing things by last name. <laughs> Barry Sanders is the Lion, and Baker Mayfield is the Browns. And I think I just gave you S, and then I said M, didn't I? Yeah, sorry, guys. 
we were doing first letter of last name and rookie retro and it just kind of i don't know carried over there for a second <laughs> apologize sorry about that jonathan abram the raiders are doing pretty well tonight it's numbered to 99 Number 225, you have Rodney Anderson. And maybe Rodney is my... Is Rodney Anderson a Bengal? A Cincinnati Bengal? I want to say yes. Pretty sure he is a Bengal. So eventually we'll get a Bengal in there, won't we? Dexter Williams comes out numbered to 99. And Dexter Williams, I think, is a giant. There's Dexter Lawrence and Dexter Williams. One's a giant, one's a packer. Williams is a packer, so not giants. This is Dexter Williams. He's a packer. It's Dexter Lawrence that is a giant. Kyler Murray, Arizona Cardinals, with a relic. Number 225, you have Ryan Finley, another one for the Bengals. And then last but not least, we have a booklet for Darius Slayton. That is numbered to 49, and the Lions kind of did all right in here tonight, didn't they? A little Darius Slayton booklet. But we do have a couple of redemptions to flip over yet. Um, Darius Slayton is a giant, though, isn't he? I said Lions, and he is a giant. So the Giants do have one. This guy, Darius Slayton, right there. My mind is all over the place tonight, isn't it? Sometimes it's hard with these collegiate products. I don't know. I have to stop and think about it, obviously. So our redemptions, Gardner Minshew, he's the Jags, and the card set is College Materials Signatures. Now, it will not tell us his NFL team when we go to the Panini website. It's only going to tell us his collegiate team, uh, but we will find out what, if anything, it is number two. However, he is a Jag. Then we have a little uh, Karen Higdon, and that is College Silhouette prime signature and he is a texan so we've got uh, to go look up both of these and find out what if anything they're numbered to karen higdon wasn't another one of the undrafted free agent type guys but he then went to the texans so so we'll look both of those up and then we'll deal with that little multi-team card in the back but let's go look these two things up first and get that knocked out of the way here we've got to get ourselves back in the right spot we'll look up the gardner Minshew first college material signatures is our card set and he is card number 146 and it will be numbered to 99 Next, we're going to look up the Higdon, and he is College Silhouettes Prime Signatures as our card set. So let me get to here. Oops, where did we go? College, where did I lose it? Prime Signatures, there. Card number 134. It's going to be numbered to 25. All right, so that ends up being nice for the Texans now, doesn't it? All right, let's come back here and take a look at this bad boy because we got to find a home yet for this. So, once again, for someone to take this card outright, they've got to own 51% or more, which in that case, mean in this particular instance, would mean three of the four teams. Assuming that no one owns three of the four, we will check it out. But if that is the case and nobody has the majority, it's going to be typed in the order it appears on the card. So you will have Browns, Texans, Bengals, and Chiefs. That's the order they will go in. Then I will hit random three different times. The first two do not count. It is only the third and final random that will be the deciding, determining factor if we get that far. 
But if someone owns three of the four, we won't have to worry about that. So let's go check that out first. So we'll start out with the Browns. That is Indy 9839. Then below that would be the Texans, which is Mate Man JB. Then we have the Bengals. Where are my Bengals? Best choice, 555. And then my Kansas City Chiefs. That is uh, Mike down there, Mike LJ1. So yeah, we are in fact going to have to head over here to random and let it do a little deciding for us on this multi-team card here. Who did I say? I've already forgotten who the fourth team was. Who was the fourth team on the bottom? Chiefs. Right, right, right. Kansas City. All right. All right. So once again, it'll be random three different times. You can ignore the first two. The third one will be the determining factor. So ignore the first one. You can ignore the second one. Here comes our third and final. Three times, our date and time stamp. It is headed to the Bengals, who actually end up having a pretty good little break as it turns out and they just add to their haul with uh, this and the Joe Mixon bidding spot now of course I did not write on the card that is on the sleeve but that's to let me know who got the random so that I don't have to go look it up later when it's time to sort we'll make it go faster so let's recap Karen Higdon undrafted free agent that went to the Texans redemption to 25 Gardner Minshew will go to the Jags, redemption to 99. This multi-team card awarded to the Joe Mixon Bengals spot. That is compliments of random.org. Then we have Ryan Finley, who of course is the Bengals. Kyler Murray, who is the Cardinals. Dexter Williams, a Green Bay Packer. Rodney Anderson is uh, the Bengals. Jonathan Abram is the Raiders. Debo Samuel, the 49ers. Devin Singletary, the Bills. And we have Elijah Holyfield, another undrafted free agent guy, ended up with the Panthers. We have Billy Cannon, who uh, played for a few different teams, but he played for the Raiders the longest. We looked him up already, so he's a Raider. Melvin Gordon the third for the Chargers. Damian Harris for the Patriots. Hunter Renfro for the Raiders. And then we have Billy Sims here, one of one, who we verified uh, he is the Lions. We looked him up. Julio Jones, the Falcons. The Broncos have Drew Locke. The Bears with Mitch Trubisky. And then we have Kelvin Harmon, who I believe is a Redskin. I'm pretty sure he's a Redskin, drafted by them. That's numbered to 99. I will double check that before it gets out the door, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Darius Slayton comes out for the Giants with the booklet that is numbered to 49. Then we have a little booklet here numbered to 90. And this is David Montgomery and the Bears. A Josh Jacobs booklet numbered to five for the Raiders with that fantastic relic over there. Very, very nice. And Justice Hill with a booklet numbered to 68 as it turns out, for the Ravens. All right, so that's the break. That's the recap. I am going to put up spreadsheet information one final time. If anybody did not catch it earlier, you can get a chance now to find out when you can expect your items to ship. We will also take a look at what's coming up uh, both tomorrow night and in the days ahead. So uh, if you didn't catch any of that earlier and you want to know about it, hang tight. Now is going to be your chance. If I can hit the right button, that is. So it, once again, two different kinds of breaks tonight. The free shipping breaks and the paid shipping break. The free breaks will be on the way to you no later than Tuesday, the 3rd of September, which is a week from today. Often goes sooner, but should not go any later than that. 
our paid shipping breaks, which are Origins and National Treasures. Uh, that should be on the way to you Saturday. If I can get it out faster than that, you know I will happily do so. If you got skunked in one of the free shipping breaks tonight, your consolation card will typically be sent with your next package. If you want it sent faster, if you don't have a package coming and you want that sent right away instead of waiting, all you need to do is send me a message on eBay and let me know that and I will happily get it squared away for you. If you got skunked in one of the paid shipping breaks tonight, well, you're going to get uh, your stuff when the rest of the break ships right it will just ship out when everything else does whenever it's a paid shipping break so you will get your consolation card or cards that way if you got skunked tonight and looking at what's coming up in the days ahead so tomorrow night of course is a new release night we are going to start at 8 30 eastern which is 5 30 pacific a little earlier than we normally start we're going to open both of our new release products by the full case. So that's Topps 5 Star Baseball and then Absolute Football, both uh, full case breaks tomorrow night. Then on Thursday night, we're going to open Archives Baseball. It'll be the start of a brand new case and we'll break half a case. So we'll have a five box break uh, coming out there of Archives on Thursday. Friday night, we'll finish up the Leaf Rookie Retro that we started tonight. We'll open up the rest of that case on Friday night. We'll open more five-star baseball, and we'll open a 12-box case of certified football, which is the back half of a master case that we started, uh, I don't know, a couple of days ago. And on Saturday, we'll break a 16-box master case of unparalleled football, and of course the master case is comprised of two eight box inner cases and then sunday will be an off day off night rather so that is it for me tonight as always i appreciate you being here i hope you have a great rest of your week if i don't see you again tomorrow night i hope i will see you again soon in the meantime take care we'll catch you the next time bye now